Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian. I have a guest. Introduce yourself. Hi guys, um, I'm Vivian's friend. Okay. Yeah, we met in Cambrian College. Right? No, we met in the resident family. Yeah. Vivian's friend was that name? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to talk about doing this for the first time. Okay, yeah. so this is the first time actually showing YouTube. You're probably only YouTube channel before. No, no, I have, but it was um, quite different. Not the video, so I was like presenting my screen over some Twitter. New experience, yeah. We are going to be talking about our new experiences or the things that we find amazing or new <laughs> when we go to Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, new yes, experiences. Yeah. yeah, so our new experiences in Canada. So, how long have you been in Canada for? Uh, Kim and me, uh, when. Okay, yeah, fine, July, so May, June, July, so kind of three months, almost three months, two and a half months. So, yeah, months. me have been here for three months, over mm -hmm. three months, and um, yeah, so we are still pretty new, so all these things can be like, maybe when we get used to them, so, but right now I've not gotten used to them, <laughs> so it's still like, it's still shocking us. So, what's the first thing you say that shocked you or like a new experience for you when you got to Canada? Mm, well, I came in May, um, it was still cold, uh, but it was like end of May. I don't know spring, why. Spring, right? Yes, but it was cold, like it was winter. Yeah, it was like zero degrees. I met zero degrees. Uh, uh, overnight, I think I saw like um, minus uh, four degrees in the middle of the night. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. This is the only place. Yeah, I mean, yes. when I was in Cyprus, right? Even in Turkey, itself, spring is like maybe nine degrees, ten degrees. <laughs> no, you know, even uh, in this summer that was supposed to be this summer, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. getting twelve yesterday was twelve degrees. You know that? Yeah, just a good, just a good. Like pretty different weeks. Um, wait, they which kind of long trips? Yeah, they have yeah. bipolar weather in Canada here. Yeah. I don't know if it's a Sudbury thing, but it is always a Canada thing in general because we stay in Sudbury. If you do not know, yeah. So yes, the weather is like this. So today it can be very hot. Like mm, the I time like during that May is it's kind of like a weekly stuff. Exactly. One week will be hot. Oh, the the next week is like cold. cold. For me, right, it's taxes. I've not gotten used to taxes. I don't know why. If it's just me, I believe and I, I just feel like um the taxes should be included in the thing you're buying. Oh, taxes. Instead of me going to the um, like checking something on the shop, right? And I'm seeing maybe seventeen dollars, and I get there, they're telling me oh, that my price is twenty dollars. <laughs> if it's going to be twenty dollars, right? Who put it twenty dollars? Let me know. It's going to be twenty dollars. But in Nigeria, we still have tax, but then tax is actually not really that much. That's it's boring. not that so much. So it's not tax really or it's like the tax on every single thing you buy. But yeah, each item thirteen percent. I'm telling you. So the HST in Ontario is thirteen percent. I don't know anywhere or Ontario. Uh, I don't know. I just know it's Ontario. So yeah, thirteen percent, and it's very crazy. I don't like it. I already budgeted sixty four dollars. When I get to the counter, I'm seeing seventy eight dollars. Co add up. Like, see if you know Jesus is Lord. That's it. Taxes. What's the next one for you? Um, I would say the worst on cars. Like, um, my friend has a car. <laughs> By the way, it's a rich kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got one recently though. So I came walking on the street of Canada or Sudbury, right? I was seeing like ghosts it's eating up the cars. I'm like, this is, you will not see this in Nigeria. So I kind of did a little bit of research and found out that the salt during winter um, causes the rust on the car. And once your once your car starts with rust, you also like you can't sell. You probably sell that car. I think give you prices, which is very bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't right. give you prices. I don't know. But you can use. Sorry. There are like there are like um shops where you can do um make a coat under your car. Yeah, just you know either buy a car, just you know prepare to. Oh, so um, when you coat it, the, the yeah, salt yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you hearing? When you come to Canada, and you buy a car. Cut it so that rust is not affected. For me, right, the next thing that shocked me or like, like it's very new to me is seeing beds around. Like there are a lot of beds in this Canada. I don't know if it's Sudbury, but so far, sha, like I'm walking on the streets, I'm just hearing sounds. I'm just like, why? Why? This is it's giving yeah, Nigeria uh, witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this what's this black is it what's this black one? There's this black one the bed. bed. Yeah, so that's like one of the common beds you see around in Sudbury. And there's this white one that makes noise. Ah, so that, that white noise. one is so weird. Like, you know, the people are. You see how it is? Village people are. 
<laughs> oh, not new, but um, for lights, when you enter the bus, um, the bus driver actually very nice. Um, there was this time, my very first time, where it's, I, what happened to I don't know, I think I, I forgot my bus pass, so it's not I forgot my yeah, bus pass or I was in bus pass here. Yeah. So it's not like I should do <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't with enough coin, but the guy was like, oh no, when you enter, like I should just enter without paying. And mm -hmm. one more thing, when you're dropping down, you see guys saying, oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. I was thank like, you. What kind of got here, right? I'll be like the bus. You will get down. You will get in driver. Thank you. I'm like, he can't even hear you. What funny thing is that they recognize, they hear, and they use the camera, and they will read it. Not the camera, I think they have like this glass, um, what's the name of glass? They have like this video glass in the app where they can see it. Yeah, so they actually acknowledge the thing. You may have like, ah, well, it's not every time. I mean, now I try to like say thank you when I get down, but like, it's not every time. It's nice. Um, like people say, oh, people come and say, oh, Canadians are polite and everything. Mm. So yeah, kind of. Well, <laughs> I don't well, like kind of. Can, but, like, no, let me just say insult me because I've actually not experienced Canadians in all that, that especially in the cities because it's I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Canadians. Do you want to go next? No, it's okay. Okay, Canadians that I've met in Sudbury. Yeah, I don't say Canadians or people generally. People generally. Yeah, they're kind of very nice. Mm. Yeah, very, very nice. And uh, smiley lot. They are. Yeah, they smile a lot. And yes, coming from Nigeria where everybody they both face. Everybody might have Everybody might have like, business. If you have issues, and you, probably, can walk up to yeah, them. you can walk up to them and yeah. they will help you. Yeah. The police, anyone, it's security, you can try yeah. to walk. Be nice, right? Canadians are talkatives. Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <They can't talk. laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's not like in a bad way, right? It's just like when you start a conversation. They can even start a conversation with you anywhere. Anyway. And so, they'll keep see, talking. The problem is when you say, Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> and hey, you're going to have that one chance. They will talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To yeah, the end of your trip. Oh, God, Jesus, Jesus. I think they will literally even try to engage. They will make it engaging and okay, ask you questions. I'm telling you, they'll be asking you something about squirrels. I don't yeah. care about squirrels. I don't care about rabbits. I don't care about. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, we like called their rodents or animals you find around. Yeah. Their rodents. I've not seen rats in Canada. I've not seen rats too. Oh. I've not seen cockroaches. <laughs> That's true, Sarah. I've not seen cockroaches. I've not seen ants. Have you seen that? No, actually, no. I like that. Oh, yeah, that. guys, there's mosquito in Canada. Sorry, in Sudbury. I don't know if it's there's mosquito. Yeah, there's mosquito. Yeah. There is mosquito. Yeah, mosquito. Um, in the night. You open your window? No, 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 no. So I went to my friend's place, one house party like that. So we had the party like outside, and literally there was mosquito. Are you serious? Even uh, to confirm it, we met some Canadians at one bar, and she stays outskirts of Sudbury, like, kind yeah. of in the woods. I said, yeah, there's a tiny mosquito. But I don't know if there's human There's no mosquito in Scusha, so I yeah. can't it. <laughs> Anyways, you see squirrels, and these squirrels, <laughs> whatever, squirrels. on the road. You'll be walking, you'll see rabbits. Rabbits? Yeah. I've never seen rabbits. We saw so rabbits here. Yeah. Are you serious? Is this squirrel? Yes. Are they nice rodents? I mean, what do we call them? <laughs> I don't even know what you call them. But that's the only part of the city. You'll not see cat yeah. and dog on the road. You, they don't have stray dogs. I mean, you know what this is? Well, they don't have stray dogs. Maybe I would say because they really take care of their dogs. You would never see the you never see the dog just walking around without nobody yeah, um, following. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Dog, yeah. So, so the only animal you saw on the road would be squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. And I don't know if it's everywhere in Canada, right? But in Sudbury, they tell us that there's bear, we bear. Oh yeah, in school. Yeah, even in our school. Yeah, yeah in there's, school. Well, there's signboards that they write bear around, bear around. So be careful. <laughs> so maybe that's their own animal that's around. But uh, well, it's seen. goats. I'm, I'm not seeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, chicken. Mm, mm -mm. Chicken. I'm not seeing chicken around. They got chicken around. I'm not seeing chicken around. Yeah. Well, why do you find chicken roaming around? Now nah, you would, you would not see chicken roaming around, yeah. or you would literally not. Nigeria, they see chicken, not they see No, 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 no. This, all I, all I see, this is like a civilized place and kind of. Nigeria, they <laughs> throw shit at you. Whatever. <laughs> Another thing that is like new to me, right, is the act of tipping. Mm -hmm. True. In Nigeria, in Cyprus, so Turkey, oh, they know they tip anybody. I know they tip anybody. So it's like. Well, UK, you tip in UK too. Everyone, I might have not gone to the UK mm -hmm. before. So this is like kind of new to me because now it's like you are telling me that, oh, if I want to buy something from you or like you're renting a service to me, right? I'm supposed to 
you know we really see all them how do you read two instances right um so expensive that word um the first one i first got here right um so I was very young, I came <laughs> very you know, young. my journey, uh, so I think I spent three days So I was very young, so I ordered uh, Uber Eats I saw it on like, um, really typical oh, <laughs> Typ- oh, oh. You know, I'm hungry <laughs> With which money? I haven't seen it, I'm still like $23 just to order I'm sure it was one um, burger chicken and stuff I'm like, I'm not to tip you again, and I tell you I should tip you like five Just went to order option zero <laughs> But then, another, I had this other experience, right? I and my friends went to a bar, mm. I'm not far from school but this lady was actually very nice. Like the person that took. Um... Is it because she's a lady? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think it's because she's a lady. But like, she was nice. She, was, she came to ask us if we were good. She was just nice. And the nice things were like, oh yeah. At the end, yeah, yeah, my, actually, my guys were like, oh yeah. I'm yeah. My own problem. I don't have issues. Mm, I have issues with it because <laughs> it's like I've not even finished Jamkanu. Like my the food that went to my stomach. They're telling me to give you money. Number mm. one, that's no. But the thing is. Because I don't believe that people that are inside they are doing the, like the hard work, right? They need more tip than the people that are just coming from myself. I agree with you, especially the people that are cooking the cook. Mm-hmm. People that are working in the bakery. People that, that are the working in the fridge. Yeah. Not the one that is saying, Oh hi, do you like this meal? Oh hi, what do you want? I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, uh, one thing again about Canada or sorry, I said in Canada generally, right? Meat, fish, they are expensive. The only cheap thing. Is the chicken I would not see around? I mean, pork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chicken is very cheap. I'm like very, very cheap, but then cheap. Like it's, it's, yes, it's still better than beef or fish. Fish is very expensive. I don't know, and they have what help. But if you have a fishing license, you can go and catch a fish. Not almost. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> can catch a fish. Yeah, Actually. I went with my friend uh, for fishing. Yeah, you'll get your license, catch fish, catfish. There's this fish. Pike, yeah, had like two fishes you'll see in the water. Well, so the next one is um, okay, Tristor. You have to have Tristor. So, Tristor would help you settle in in Canada. The Tristor is due from Yabao. You pay, yeah. So, <laughs> let me kind of explain, right <laughs> explain their Tristor. Right? So, the Tristor basically is kind of like a donation to help people with cancer, with diabetics. Um, yeah, so one big trip store in, in Sudbury, Avado Village, actually very big. You can get every, not every single, like almost every no, I think everything actually. Oh, every no, no. Yeah, no. Mm. no, no, not everything. So not everything. Yeah, but like. You can get most of the things most that of you the need things to settle. Settle in. Yes. Yeah, so. I'm actually shop for most of my things. Iron, plate pots, toaster, blender, blender, blender air fryer, air fryer, anything. Air fryer, clothes, anything you have um, in there. Apart from yeah. like big big appliances like fridge where you can get okay, yeah, 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 no, that at a restore. Yeah, restore. You know, so restore restore as well is a thrift store, chip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so they, they have pet save as well. They have a couple of um thrift stores and according to people according to research that <laughs> Topper found out because I do not know this. Uh, it was like uh they donate like after they make the money, money like, yeah, they, they donate it to it. like the less privilege, which is good. Yeah, so like if you have things you're not using at home, you just guys your thrift store, people just Yeah, it's even yeah, even you if you have something that like you're not using, yeah, you can go there yeah. and yours is a good way to declutter. I would say actually a very good way to declutter. I will well, yeah. Do you, do you think people in Sudbury or Canada are at neat? Like, do you think the like the roads are they clean? Hmm. Because I, I noticed that they take their recycling and um, their, seriously, yeah, seriously. they take it very seriously. Like, even uh, on the road, they even have like different bins for for trash. They have one for recycle, and they even have one for paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. So, mm, some people are didn't. Ah, it's really hard to see because every have gone to like the more kind of needs. Um, I just see people. Oh, okay, because know. they have all those things in Nigeria. We don't have baskets. <laughs> yeah, and things. I don't think people like try to throw things on the floor in here. I don't. Mm. I, I don't do that. I don't know that thing. Um, houses. I'll talk about houses. Oh my god! What do you talk about houses? Because my only problem is that houses in Canada are very expensive. Houses in Sudbury. Are expensive. Are very expensive. <laughs> La please like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, you, they're very expensive and it's not about being expensive alone, it's just that you, I don't know if you're getting value for your money. Do you think you're getting value for the money you're paying? So it depends. There are different so 
uh, of three bedroom, you just share the three bedroom with three different people. Yeah, what about like the quality of the house? Quality of the house. Well, I know that's in um, most houses in Canada. Can I say Canada so or Salt Bay? Because which other places? Uh, oh no, I'll say in Canada. No, you know. Houses in Canada are not furnished. Not, not furnished. Yeah. All the houses. Most not of furnished. the houses. So you have to buy a bed. Yes, that's not really a problem. My problem is like that Jagger Jagger house that I went to. Oh, that was <laughs> very nice. Mm. I don't know, maybe I don't understand. It's just it's so weird. And you know, I get the price of the house, they say, oh, it's 750. I'm like, 750 dollars for this? I beg. Let's move on. So, what do you think about the way of teaching, like school and everything? Do you think, do you like it? Well, I've only studied in Cameroon. Yeah, I'm talking about in Cameroon. So oh, okay, way of teaching. Mm, so, my course is mobile lab development. Right? Tech bro! <laughs> <laughs> Tech bro! And then I currently have experience mm. in mobile lab development. So, looking at this, right? Um, some lecturers know how to teach. Most lecturers don't know. How to. Yeah. I'm not calling out the lecturers. But I've, I've spoken to like a couple of people, right? And people are like, oh, it's different uh, from Nigeria. I'm just like, no. no I don't think because we're not doing masters. Masters is even for. Yeah, but this is this is just like, it's just weird. They, like most of the time, they just do like group assignments. They give you uh, a module. They give you tests to go and do. Like probably the the actual teaching alone, maybe like one hour or two hours. I don't know. I feel like if we go back to class, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we we'll probably would we'll learn more because you know doing class virtually, you would. You might concentrate, but sometimes things are there to distract you. Apart from distract, no, this is not a me factor. You're talking about like the teacher factor, but because like you're not getting what they are saying. Most of them just do like. They are good lecturers and bad lecturers. I just putting out there. I mean, maybe my own department, shall. <laughs> if we, see, I've had like six lecturers teach me, and I can only say that maybe three are good. So like half of them, the other half. Mm, I don't know. For me, about uh, currently have five teaching me. I can say. Two and I think I never Yeah, I good. So it's like a 50 50 thing. It's not, it's, it's fine. It's different from uh, on the ground where they actually teach you, teach you. Teach you so this is like a postgraduate see. program, right? Yeah. So it's like they expect you to know some things, have like a background, and also. I don't think they expect you, no, no. So, they know that you do, you do not have background, but the way they teach you, they teach you. Like, they like you have background. Uh, so they expect you to go and research, they expect you to go and read, they expect you to. Learn mm -hmm. or by yourself. He has the car, like I said. So. Yes, in license, right? Oh, okay. Talk oh, I think G one is easy to get. G one actually is just what you. So what is G one? G one is like the first level, just like basic knowledge of the road rules and regulation. Okay, how do you learn in driving? Nah, you won't drive at all. It's not about just rules and regulation. It's right? mm. uh, yeah. It's easy, just watch it with video. And yeah, the other one is what? The other one, so G one, G two, G three, right? So in my case, I did not do G two. I went straight to full G. Uh, the reason uh, is because I have experience back in Nigeria, I got my extracts, uh, presented my extract and my driver license and they said, oh yeah, take uh, the Fuji test, right? Um, ways to pass the Fuji test. We do. You have another session for this. Yeah, so come and talk about it. <laughs> right now, because I don't want to make this yeah, video yeah, so lengthy. Right, right. So, yeah, so I think the driving gear is not like you just go and collect, um, go and buy a car. You really need to know yes. how to drive. So, you know, <laughs> you that, there are different drive. levels. So, yeah. I think in G1, you need somebody to be just with you. Yeah, um, yeah. And when you're driving, you need somebody to be with you. So, five years experience. Five years experience. And you can know. Can you only car with the G1? Um, the insurance, so the car will be on So we'll talk more about driving. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. it's just different from Nigeria, this thing. It's yeah. not like when you buy a car and just like put in L. Yeah. So it's not like that. It's different. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's all yeah, that that's we all. have. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah, this is us three months and new experiences that we've learned or we've gathered <laughs> in Canada for the past three months. And yeah, thank you, Topper, for coming to my channel. Oh, you're welcome. Do you want to continue being on YouTube? Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like it too? Um, I'm trying kind of working. Is it working on something? Working on something, shall I? Okay. Yeah. So if you want to sit up in my channel for for driving school classes, probably well, we comment. And okay. I'll invite him. I'll bring him. He's always available. Are you yeah. always available? Um, yeah. If I call you, will you are serving. Yeah, yeah, for you too, but for you too. Okay. And for you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.